Oh, did I press the wrong button? I did. I pressed the both. Wait, I'm going to do it, and you're going to see one of the transitions. Oh, it just sucked that little guy out. And then it's already got my little things up there, too. <laughs> yes! Okay, look. Bang! Now all the surprises are hidden. Talk to me. Tell me that you kids can hear me. Okay? <laughs> I love how high-tech I... <laughs> all right. Bang! Here we go. Loud and clear. Thank you, Ryan. We're back for another live stream, which I have been totally jonesing for. We're a little overdue. Tonight, we are going to cover Nebula Dies, <clears throat> which, you know, we've actually already kind of hit these on the channel already in our other Basement Disc Dyer series with the Nebula Masta Jory of Jory's Fly Dies, but this is the topic that I got the most requests for, so bang, it's what we're going to cover here. Let me turn this a little so that I'm not like super covered up by your comments. Golly, I'm high tech and analog. <laughs> okay, let me give a little hey now to a handful of you guys who are bop popping in there and, and one for Canada, a now for Gord right there. A couple a nows. Okay, look, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cover our plan real quick for tonight with a couple pictures that High Tech Bobby has tried to load into the streaming software. Hopefully that crap works. And then, you know, we'll start banging on some dies. okay? So here is what we're gonna cover tonight. Look, now is when those words and things should be up there and there. Look, now I'm in between all of it. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna have one of these down smooth eventually, I promise. Okay, so first we'll hit like all the mediums, dyes, and supplies. It's a really short list. We're gonna bang that out real quick. And then we'll jump right into single nebula dyes. Look, I got a button for that too. Boom, single nebula dyes, which you can't go over single nebula dyes. I see you all coming in, hey now and me. Hey now. So I'm gonna keep smacking the hey now button. One for Disc Golf Talk and Beyond, one for hey Rob now. Danger. There's one in there for John Falk. There's hey nows for all of you. Okay, so we'll hit single nebula dies. Look, I got some pictures. Jory, he's the master, okay? Look at his spiral conch shell nebula. Come on. And then he's got this one that's just like crazy outer space. <laughs> I told you, you can't go over nebula dies without hitting Jory's stuff. I got a couple that I did myself as well. Look, there's one that's inside of a swirl. Rob it. Look. Oh, whoops. I gotta go back to get my hey now button. Hey now. There's some more hey nows for you. And then I got another one here on on a single, like on a, on a little on a little mini. I tried to crush a single nebula die in. Those are obviously lesser examples than the Jory's fly die stuff. So we're gonna go over his technique <laughs> when we do the single nebulas. But we'll jump from single nebula dies into multiple nebula die designs, like a whole night sky full of nebulas, which these are so much fun to whip up. Okay, I got a couple pictures of these two. Where's the nebula? There's the nebula sky one. How cool does that look, right? Like the whole universe full of them. And then I got one right here on this soul. It's supposed to look like a night sky behind the moon with a bunch of them. And I got another one that I tried to cram a night sky onto a mini. There she is. So these are like so much fun to whip up. We'll hit that second and then last we'll talk about sending the disc and set times and heat or no heat and all that stuff that comes with the aftermath all right so let's knock off the stuff that you need real quick i see you nicholas with a hey now. hey now and then we'll start to bang all right first is mediums we're going to be using clear glue for our beds today you can certainly use white glue it'll work just as well and really with white glue you can kind of see what's going on in there a lot better because it's white you know <laughs> it contrasts with the dye better but honestly i prefer the way that the chemistry the chemical reaction between the clear glue and the dyes especially for this type of really spacey design so clear glue is what we're going to use next is the dot is the dyes we want them all in the liquid form for this method so we'll be using i dye poly worm dip and pro chemical and dye the worm dip already comes liquid so we're set to jet there the pro chem and the i dye i've already mixed with some acetone I've, so they're ready to go i will be 
commingling and intertwining all of those liberally probably into each bed and then last is the actual crap the stuff the tools that we need to go first you need some kind of pan i, I like these big ultimate frisbees but a cake pan will work great too then something to get the dyes into the bed with some kind of mcsquirter tin i like these syringes pipettes or eyedroppers are also great and then we'll need an agitator or two first a mcpoker tin like this skewer or you can also just use you know the back of a brush handle and then last we're going to do some huffing and puffing so you'll need a straw or maybe a blow tube like this which works a little better if you want you can add a big pile of paper towels to the list and you're ready to bang i got all that stuff right here like i just showed you so we are ready to bang i'm gonna give a couple hey nows for those people that i missed i am ready so let's do this i got my first pan right oh you know what i gotta do i gotta do something high tech and press the no not that one yeah <laughs> <laughs> holy crap am i high tech right all right now you can actually see what's going on instead of listening to me blabber but dump some clear glue into this puppy and start <laughs> start making some nebula beds first oh if i can get this cap off that glue dried into we're going to be doing single nebula dies and we're going to try to do something really cool like jory does all the time because he's sort of the best at this crap you want to get like about a quarter inch worth in there for the bottom of the pan. Okay, I just looked up and saw my main man Chad Pruitt in the chat. Chad, hey now. Yo, talk to me about the background music. Can you hear it? Does it sound good? Is it like loud enough? Because I can't hear the background music. It's only playing for you boys and girls. That's something I have to sacrifice with the streaming song software flip those little frisbees to make my turntable level all right we got the glue in there we're ready to go now we'll pull out some squirted ins lime no june bug let's just do like a dump here orange yes I, I like I got these labels on here, but they've all gotten dye on them so much now that I can like hardly read them anymore. Iris, no. Silver, yes. Clear, no. Red. Green. Okay, now we got our McSquirtedins. I probably could have got those ready in advance instead of making you watch me sort through the cup. Okay, for this one, we are going to start with a dark color. How about we just go black, okay, at the bottom? And then start to build around that. Now, you don't need to stress too much about the design just yet. We are going to funk this bad boy all up after we get the dye in there. Jim Bob, hey now. You got here just in time, Bob. I just started dripping dye and all you missed was me just babbling about crap. Okay, so if you haven't noticed what's going on here or heard this routine before, in goes dye. Give it a little blow, maybe a hit with the torch or just some time to let some of that acetone burn out or dry off, evaporate, and then drop a few more drippity drops in there. All right, that's gonna do us for black for now. Next, I'm going yellow. like that for anybody that I missed 
Hey now. And anybody else that I missed. Hey now. Two different hey nows. Okay, things are starting to happen now. We got some yellow in there. Next, I'm jumping up to red. This is a mix with Pro Chemical and Dye Cool Red in here. So it's our first time breaking away from Worm Dip in this specific bed. Man, that red is rich. Oh, there's my man Jared Allen. Hey now. Hey now. Talk about a T Diddy Army All Star. Been here from the start. Like back when we had a hundred subscribers. <laughs> it's my main man. Okay. I think I'm going to blue next. What do we, yep, got some blue right there. That's my blue McSquirted in. Dying Goat, hey now. Thunderhead, hey now. Okay. Get some of this action up in here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna break out the torch now, just to give it a hit. Look at the, is that bubbles popping or is that diarrhea? Oh yeah. Careful when you do this at home. <laughs> Check out how it like spread the red through that blue there at the, at the dividing line though. It looks so cool. All right, let's put some more dye in. Hailstorm, hey now. Crystal and Glenn, hey now. All right, little more blue. And now I think I'm gonna jump to purple. And then maybe we'll add a little more dye. And then we're gonna start funking it up. Purple McSquirted in. Oh yeah, we're gonna give it a lot of purple. Yeah, pretty liberal with the purple. I'm gonna go back and just put a little more dye in for some of these colors. I like being liberal with it. So I'll hit some black. Hit some more yellow. Just a touch more red. I think the purple and blue are set to jet. Bang. Okay. We got the dye in there. David, hey now. We needed some hey now buttons. You know what I need to do? I need to get some T Diddy sound effects up in this thing. Like my man JoJo saying it's pipeline time. Okay, let's bring out the blow pipe. Where'd I put it? Here it is. Look, I got the blow tube now. And I'm gonna start kind of like just generally starting my spiralish swirly design shaping with the blow tube. All right.
I already got clear glue in my mouth. Golly, that didn't take long. <laughs> what a bozo. All right, careful not to get clear glue and dye in your mouth. Okay, I like how this is how this is shaping up already. Man, it's starting to get funky. I'm gonna just do another little bit of clear glue, wiping from my lips. I don't think I got more in there. I think I just didn't wipe it all off. <laughs> oh man, pretty soon here. We're gonna switch from blowing to the two, to the McPogerton. But you know, this starts to like mix a bunch of negative space and breaks into the design in ways that the poker really doesn't. It looks super cool and nebula-like. If you're not careful, it can start to make you dizzy. Okay, now, because I think I'm a little too lightheaded for the blow tube, I'm gonna switch over. You know what, John, I have one of those little compressed air blowers, and I use it occasionally, but I got so much crap plugged in right now. <laughs> it needs to plug into one of the USB ports on my, like, or a plug to on my computer or something like that to work, and they're all taken right now from high-tech crap. So I just had to go the old-fashioned way. And, you know, not everybody has one of those. So, like, I try to do stuff in these streams a lot of times in a way that, you know, just uses the simple stuff that everybody has um, so that we can all kind of do it. But you are absolutely right. Those compressed air, like, airbrush little blower machines that you can get on Amazon for 30 40 50 bucks uh, are priceless especially if you got to do a lot of blowing because it's, sometimes it's just a lot and get your light <laughs> get your light at it okay like i know i was kind of talking my way through some of this but now i'm kind of encouraging the spiral that i just created on this nebula design with the mcpokerton and i'm trying to kind of like curl some of these colors in and through each other that's one of the things that gives these designs like so much depth so like i'm trying to pull the purple through the black and the yellow through the red and this blue and purple mess right here in through it as well it makes really cool like streaking and starts to make it look like it's going deep And I'm starting to really dig it. Okay, now at this point, it's tough not to over swirl. You want to just keep swirling because I just keep swirling, keep looking cool. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna start doing like the spiny things that Jory does. After we got like our 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 general spiral shape, now we start to build some spines into it. Okay, which 
We'll do some on the red here. And we're gonna kind of drag little pools of the red out through like this. And you notice before that I was wiping my McPoker tin off each time. This time I'm not, because I want there to be like that little bit of blue in the center of the spine that I'm pulling each time. Before I was wiping off the paper towel as I went because I didn't want to like contaminate colors as I was sort of spreading them out. Okay, there we got some spines in the red to the blue there. Let's see if we can pull some little ones off with the yellow here. Okay, okay, I'm starting to dig this. Like now, you know, you're pretty much friggin' there. You drop a disc whenever you're ready. But if you want, you can start to take like little guys, little areas like this, and just do like kind of little offshoots like that. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe another one going this way into this area. Give that another pull. Get some more of that color coming. And we got like two little paisley little spirals going off the side of it now. And now, you know, just kind of go around and touch it up however you like until it makes you feel like all sorts of warm and nebula inside. Okay, I'm digging this one. I don't want to mess with it anymore. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to torch this sucker. Get a couple of these bubbles, especially the ones that are like in the nebula, out. Oh, I haven't looked up at the chat in forever. To everybody I missed, hey now. Especially Joe Adam and Chris Salisbury, hey now. Okay, that's enough of the torch. It's ready. All right, now here's what we're sending in there. I got two... Latitude 64 Opto Explorers. Okay, both of them, same disc, already wiped, ready to go, same plastic, set to bang. Okay, now for sending the disc, m most of you who've you know seen a bunch of these have heard already, you, you grip it by the rim and then you kind of want to roll it in there in one motion. The key is not trapping air in between the disc and the bed because then it, the bed won't come in contact with that part of the disc and it doesn't die it. Okay, so even more importantly than the roll is going slowly while you do it. Okay, so that the air has time to get out as the glue is like coming around and doesn't trap it. Um, now with this disc, it's clear enough where you're going to get to see, you know, through it as, as it makes contact and kind of get an idea what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm going to start in this corner down here by my thumb that's wiggling around. I've made contact, and now I'm kind of rolling it counterclockwise from where I'm at. And you can see the die bed slowly coming in contact with the disc. All right, I think we did pretty good there. Now I'm just going to very lightly, just a light, gentle tap because it'll sink, you know, as it needs to. Now, I'm gonna put this in a very special place for, for just a minute. Give me a second, I'll be right back. All right, come here, come here. Right there, that is as special as a place gets. Level, okay. So there we go, single nebula die, bang. And that was pretty much, other than he's way better at it, that's like kind of how Jory does it. All right, so do we have, did I just, there's two people watching on Twitch. Whoever the both of you are, you're my favorite viewers right now because it means we got people on all three streams and we are totally high tech. All right, now we are going to move on to multiple Nebula designs. These are like my favorite, okay? 
they're they're totally different than what we just did it's a whole different technique tell me i got okay but it starts out the same way you take your pan and then you fill it up with some clear glue which i got more of it right here in this giant jug we'll dump that crap in there We are totally on pace to not go over the hour mark like the last three streams. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoops. I need to pour a little bit of this. Look, I got a McSquirter tin bottle right here. I may I'll put it in the other camera too. I'm just going to dump some clear glue into that as well. These are like the same... Oh, easy, Bobby. These are like the same bottles that I use uh, to put my... Oh, Jesus I screwed that all up. That was a total disaster. That was worse than getting clear glue in my mouth. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. <laughs> a big blub came out. Okay? What do you... <laughs> oh man. That was a total... Disaster. I think I got another one of those little McSquirted in bottles close by. One second. Right here. Alright. Can you tell them to sound like I'm searching? Crap, I was wrong. Okay. We're gonna have to improvise because I dumped clear glue all over that other McSquirted in bottle. So we'll make this work though. I'm sure I can find it. I, I don't need it. Watch, here's how this starts. Take like a shot glass, okay? Sometimes, red oh so, I do reuse the clear glue. Dump it right back into the bottle or just set another disc in the bed if it's still looking awesome. Okay, let's do this multiple nebula dyes. Otherwise, I'm gonna pass the hour mark that I said I was gonna beat. I got a shot glass right here, ready to go. I'm gonna start by putting some black up in there. Where's my black squirter tin? Yep, that's the one. Probably enough black. And then you can pick, you know, whatever daggone color you want next. Uh, like red, blue, or purple are the three that I typically go with. I'm going to go with blue tonight. And add about half as much of that color as you just put in black. So I basically did two mixed ins of black and one of blue in that situation. I'm going to give them a little swisher upper in there just to mix them together. And now I'm going to get the bed spinning. I'll adjust this slightly so it's kind of centered I'm gonna spin it this way and now just dump this stuff in there okay see how easy that was to get started I'll give it a little bit of this okay now this is one of the fun parts I'm tempted to hit it with the torch but there's so much wet dye in there and I'm gonna blow it up all right, now take the bed, lift it up, and then start doing this kind of action with it, where you swirl it around in circles. It takes a while, okay? The more you do it, and the, and the, the glue kind of like, as it's sort of touching the side of the pan and spinning around, it starts to spread into like a big galactic spiral design. Okay, so you just keep spinning that until it looks galactic and spirally. I may have dumped a hair too much dye in there, but we're just gonna spin it out. Yeah, it's starting to spread. Okay. 
Okay, now this is going to be the background for our night sky. So bummed about that clear gloom squirted in. What I can do is try it with a syringe. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna work. All right, so that squirted in bottle that I was trying to fill with clear glue and turned into a total disaster, I sub, sub, you know, supplanted with or replaced with a syringe here. I'm going to squirt some clear glue into my night sky like that to clear out a little space, okay? You can see a little space in there. And now I'm gonna start picking colors and building little nebulas in the spaces that I'm clearing. That blue is fuller than I thought. Maybe we'll just try some without spreading it out as well. Okay, little blue there. Little blue there. Oh yeah, this is gonna work just fine without spreading out the glue. One more. Maybe two more. We'll put some off to the side. There'll be a couple that are like halfway on the disc. Okay, this is the start of our six nebulae. That. Now I kind of like have a, a habit or propensity of going with contrasting colors one after the other. So I use blue, now I'm gonna use some yellow. Actually what I wanna do before I put the next color in, especially since I'm not spreading it out, is hit it with the torch that way the colors don't mix as much that's good all right we'll bang some yellow in the middle of these now whoa i almost dropped that one in the wrong spot Bang, yellow. All right, how about we go purple next? Oh man, I can't read, there it is, that's the purple. Oh, I need to torch it. Come on now. my torch out son of a biscuit eater man I don't know what else is gonna miss on this one but my torch is out so just time instead how about blowing yeah I'm old-fashioned 
All right, in goes some purple. Yeah, you're probably right about the soldering torch. This thing, it's not failing me, it's just, it just ran out of gas. That's the problem. All right. Do some orange into these six nebulae, and then we'll mix them up a little bit. I'm usually all McPoker tin. I don't use the blower too often with these because you know I want like a little bit more control. But now you just you know funk them up as you see fit. And just so you know, there's like an infinite number of nebula out in the solar system. All of them look crazy different. So chances are, no matter what you do, it's going to come out looking right. This one be all ends. That one's like a pedal. Okay, I've tried to funk them up all with a different, like funky, different look. We got one petal nebula right there. This one is conch shell. This one's the heart nebula and the rest are the crazy nebulas. All right, let's put a disc in this sucker. I got my other Latitude 64 Opto Explorer here. We're gonna send it the same way we did last time, nice and slow, without trapping any air. I don't really even see any bubbles in the bed. Okay, we're just gonna pick kind of like an opportune spot where I get the right parts of the right ones. I think I like it down here at the bottom. We'll get just top of the of the petal nebula, or the bottom of it. Not my very best entry ever.
boom light little tappy tap just to make sure she's all the way up in there and bang we have man did i make a mess tonight look at how much it dies on my thing like there's clear glue everywhere <laughs> okay these both are gonna sit not for 24 hours because i probably don't want to wait that long but they're of the type of plastic where somewhere between 12 and 24 they're not just going to sit overnight i'm going to pull them tomorrow night probably after dinner and then you know i'll post pictures of the two of them up on the face place and the instagram and then if you're watching this video on youtube after the live stream we'll have some links to it in the description down below for you to check out okay and for all of you fools that came and hung out on a saturday night instead of watching march madness you're my <laughs> you're my kind of people that was tons of fun sorry i fell into like what we were doing instead of talking to you guys in the chat stream but you're awesome and like hey now. before we go i'm gonna give you like the, the regular closer from all the other videos <laughs> all right you guys are awesome until we catch you again better keep on doing it yeah